What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. Today we're going to be going over Doge Dash. As you all know, Doge Dash hasn't really done any major updates, but they have been doing some little things here and there. So we got to talk about those little things that they've been doing and what's coming up next with Doge Dash. So anyways, hit that like button, subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. But yeah, let's go straight over Doge Dash. So right now, Doge Dash is only up right now 1.4% for the last 24 hours. You know, everything in the crypto market has been down. And there's actually been a lot of mentioning about the altcoins losing a lot of market cap along with Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin is losing some of its dominance, but it's still dominant over the whole overall crypto market. So when you see these huge sharp drops inside of Bitcoin, you typically see them inside all the other cryptos as well eventually. So yeah, there was just now a huge drop from 43K all the way down to 41K in Bitcoin. And we're probably going to see drops inside the altcoins coming as well. Doge Dash still holding up a little bit strong right now. But let's talk about some of the stuff going on with Doge Dash. For one, look over here. We do got a good little bit of market cap going on here. So we're still holding $20 million. Pretty good with Doge Dash. So yeah, 20 million. The liquidity is still looking pretty good at $3.7 million. And when you look at the Doge Dash charts here on Dex Tools, you actually see that it looks like it's at the bottom because over here on the 10th of January, that looks like it where it bottomed out at, at the 10th of January. And now we're still towards the bottom. Now, you know, let's say Bitcoin continues to go down to about 35K. Yeah, we could see Doge Dash continue to drop. But right here is really a good price for Doge Dash. It's really laying flat right now. And we're still seeing people coming into Doge Dash buying more and more of it. So it's not like going to just completely go all the way down to the bottom and just completely disappear because Doge Dash just has too much going on for it to just disappear like that. Now, another one of the big updates that actually have came out for Doge Dash, we have this banner and it's going to be up here on Dex Tools like all week. And they actually mentioned it in their Telegram chat. So if you see the Telegram chat, definitely go over here and they actually made this whole post today and you can read it yourself. And it's a pretty long post, so I'm probably not going to read the whole thing. But yeah. Down here, they definitely mentioned it. They said their marketing efforts have been slightly more quiet. Obviously, though, because you got to think the whole overall crypto market is down. Why would you use all your marketing dollars while everything's going down? You're not going to get much holders coming in and not much volume coming through because everything in the crypto market is going down. People are scared. The fear index is really high right now on the fear side. So, yeah, we're going to have this Dex Tools banner live, and it's going to be for about a whole week. And it's going to be in that top spot there. So that's going to help those dash out a lot. But yeah, they have been pretty quiet about everything else with Doge Dash. But I still believe that there's going to be huge potential for Doge Dash in the future. I mean, we have this whole NFT integration going on right now. And actually, if you want to look at the Doge Dash NFTs, you know, that it's on OpenSea. So they have all their different NFTs on here. So there's a lot of good stuff coming out with Doge Dash inside the future. I definitely do believe that we're going to have some kind of huge rise with Doge Dash whenever the whole crypto market, you know, kind of recovers. But we just got to wait for that recovery in a crypto market. But until then, we still got our marketing 2% for each transaction. So every time there's a transaction, they're building up those marketing dollars and they're waiting to spend it. Yes, they spent a little bit of marketing dollars on the Dex Tools thing, on the whole Dex Tools banner, but that's not a lot of marketing dollars. They probably still have a lot more waiting because they haven't been spending much of their marketing dollars. So they're still waiting to spend some more of those marketing dollars. So over here, you can see also the 3% deflationary for the burning. So there's also Doge Dash being burned for every transaction. So over here, you can see 55.8 million Doge Dash is pretty much circulating right now. And this was yesterday. So 89,000 holders yesterday. And now you can see today it's at 90,000. 90,000. That's 90,049 holders right there. So we're getting a lot more people coming in the Doge Dash every single day. And yeah, if you want to go over here and look at the Doge Dash burns, you can go directly to Doge Dash and burn on Twitter. And they actually give you all the whole rundown on all the burns. So today we've burned a lot of Doge Dash. So today that was about 6.3 million Doge Dash burned in the last 13 hours. And yeah, that's around 11.97% token burned from the so total supply so far. So Doge Dash is being burned at a pretty good pace. Now, I hear a lot of people saying it's not being burned fast enough. Look, you got to understand that in every single crypto project, everyone's always talking about how the burns aren't coming fast enough. But you just got to understand that they can't just burn it all at once. It just does not work like that. It really wouldn't help them out a lot if they did. They got to burn it progressively and they got to do it through the auto burns. That really helps the token out a lot. And that's what being deflationary is all about. You just don't burn it all at once. That's just not how you do it. So you just got to let it do its thing. You got to let it slowly but surely burn themselves out. 
And yeah, the NFT collections are out here. We got the whole utility still working for us. We still got the Doge Dash game. And there's still a lot of updates coming for the game. So over here, over here, you can see that they said late summer of 2022, we will be unveiling of Doge Kart. So yes, there's Doge Dash, but now Doge Kart, a Mario Kart inspired multiplayer racing game. So you got to think a whole multiplayer racing game that's kind of like Mario Kart and it's going to be called Doge Kart. So this is going to be cool because it's going to be online against other people. So other holders of the Doge Dash and their very own NFT carts. And remember, there's also going to be the Doge Dash NFT skins that they implement into Doge Dash as well. So there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out for the game. They're going to be upgrading it and doing a lot of good stuff for the game in the near future. And then on top of that, we're going to have the whole Doge Dash metaverse. So 2022 will be the year that sees Doge Dash finds a home for the metaverse. So there's going to be a lot of good stuff coming out for Doge Dash. So anyways, they said they're currently in the process of acquiring land in Sandbox, which will use house Doge World a world where our community can experience the whole Doge Dash ecosystem in one place with games, NFTs, merchandise, and even experimental events all under one roof. So Doge World will be the epicenter of the brand and ecosystem that allows holders to use their Doge Dash tokens to buy and sell products and services inside the metaverse world on Sandbox. So there's going to be a lot of good stuff coming out for Doge Dash. And if you look at the whole roadmap, they still have a lot of stuff that they got to do. They still have a lot of good stuff out here that's going to be coming out for Doge Dash. Fiat on ramp, trust wall integration, leaderboard integration of the NFTs and all that good stuff. And some of it's already came out. And so also mobile app monetization, they're also going to be doing that as well. So Q2 of 2022, they're going to have in Doge Dash 3D and then in the 3D NFT collections, the NFT marketplace and all that good stuff. Doge, cart game, cart NFTs, cross chain integration, and then the sandbox metaverse for the Doge, Doge world inside of Q4. So there's going to be a lot of good stuff coming out for Doge Dash inside the future. We just got to keep on waiting and being patient. I am a holder of Doge Dash. I don't have too much Doge Dash, but I definitely need to double down because we're like literally at the bottom. So this is like a perfect opportunity to buy more. I'm definitely going to be doing that. I have some on my MetaMask. Not really my MetaMask. Actually, I have it on my um, Ledger through MetaMask. It, it's a whole, I don't know, it's a whole thing. But anyways, I'm going to get some more on MetaMask and double down on there. Probably get some more on my Trust Wallet as well. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of huge opportunities here with Doge Dash. That's pretty much what I'm saying here. Now, also, I want to mention another thing, not about the burns, but a lot of people have been saying Doge Dash to $1. Now, we got to be realistic here. In order for Doge Dash to reach $1, the circulating supply is going to be the market cap. Let me say that again. The circulating supply will be the market cap. The total supply will be the fully diluted market cap. So in order for Doge, Doge Dash to get to $1, we're going to have to be at $53.8 million or 53.8 billion market cap, not fully diluted, but just regular market cap. Now, we are going to continue to do burns. So it's not going to be completely at 53.8. It'll probably be at 40 billion or maybe 30 billion or maybe even 20 billion inside of market cap by the time we actually reach that amount. You got to remember, there's fully diluted and there's actual market cap. Fully diluted right now is at 37.7 million. And if you wonder how I'm getting the whole thesis of 100 billion inside of fully diluted market cap at $1, and 53.8 billion at the current circling supply by one dollar this is what i'm pretty much coming up with so you just take your current circulating supply and then you multiply it so let's take that right now let's take your 53 8720211103 and remember this is without any burns we know we're going to get burns as well like every single day there's burns so this is just without burns because i'm not going to project how many burns we're going to have this is going to be too much math for the video but anyways let's take that 53.8 and then you just multiply it by one two three and then three seven eight two five that brings you to the current market cap of 20p or 20.3 million dollars and that's over there so you can see that this math is correct so in theory when you do the same math problem anything times one is itself so you multiply 53.8 billion circulating supply times one dollar that then brings you to 53.8 billion market cap when we're at one dollar and the same for the whole total supply fully diluted market cap would be a hundred billion dollars at one dollar that's definitely reachable it is but you gotta you gotta be realistic those dash is a fairly new project we gotta wait a little while one dollar is not gonna happen this year this year you just gotta keep pushing and if $1 happens this year, it's going to be something crazy that happens. Like maybe Snoop Dogg does some more promo for it or just crazy stuff like Crypto.com listing, Doge Dash, as well as Binance, as well as Coinbase. Those type of stuff will send Doge Dash to $1. I will not lie there. But if we don't get anything major coming for Doge Dash for this year, like a major listing or something like that, then you're not going to see a dollar Doge Dash by this year. That doesn't mean that Doge Dash can't reach a dollar. 
those stats can definitely definitely reach a dollar in the future. You got to remember, inflation is heavy right now. Every single nation is printing more money into their into their economy. So the whole global financial markets will have more circulating money. Total, I think there is like something trillion dollars inside of the whole global financial currencies, like a total of 300 something trillion. So it's definitely possible for those that to reach 100 billion, especially that inflation is on the rise and more currency for every single nation is being printed into the economy. And then that money is going to eventually flow into cryptos like it's doing right now. So we're going to see higher prices for every single crypto coming in the future. Crypto is literally a hedge against inflation. So this is also another reason why it's inevitable for all the cryptos to continue to gain more market cap as more money starts to flow into the economy. So we're going to see a lot of good stuff coming for crypto in general inside the near future. But yeah, like I said, fully diluted market cap will be $100 billion at $1. Circulating supply is at $53.8 billion. So in theory, the actual market cap will be at $53.8 billion. And then as we do our burns, and we know there's going to be more burns, it'll probably be more like $30 billion to $20 billion when we reach $1 which is 100% reachable. You've seen Sheeb hit like 50 billion. You've seen Doge hit 90 billion. Why can't Doge Dash hit 20 billion? So there's a lot of good stuff that could come out for Doge Dash inside the future. Just got to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. One thing I would say for Doge Dash though with the game, I think you should be able to claim your coins after every single round, not tr not actually finishing the whole game and then claiming the coins. I know that that'd be difficult for them to do, but that's what I would like to see. I still cannot beat the game. I still cannot get to the end of it. I know some people have actually beat it and actually made it to the end, even on easy. It's still hard on easy for me. I don't know why. Maybe my computer is just moving slow. But yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't beat it and I couldn't earn anything. But it's still a good concept. But yeah, anyways, shout out to the whole Doge Dash community. And shout out to Snoop Dogg for attending the whole Doge Dash suite at the Crypto.com Stadium. So like I said... They literally had their own suite at the Crypto.com Stadium. If Crypto.com lists Doge Dash, this could also help Doge Dash get to a dollar. So we can see a lot of good stuff coming soon for Doge Dash. All it takes is something major like Crypto.com listing it, getting all the way up there. We see how much market cap Crypto.com has and how much money they have flowing through their actual platform. So there's a lot of potential there for that. But yeah, anyways, this is all I pretty much got for you all today. I just wanted to go over Doge Dash because it's been a really long time since I've talked about Doge Dash. And I'm still holding Doge Dash, so I had to come here and let all the people know I'm still with the community. So yeah, anyways, hit the like button, subscribe. It really does help the YouTube channel out immensely for your YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. Someone requested Doge Dash, so I went back over Doge Dash again. And also, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. As always, I'll be back with another video. Peace.